Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to take a look at this 2017 Toyota Camry. So um, I haven't done any Toyota review ever on this on this YouTube channel. And 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 yes, this is a this is a 17 Camry. And you might be thinking, well, why aren't you doing the 2020? Well, I don't have a 2020 Camry in my hands. But I think doing a review of the 17 Camry, the, two, the 2017 Camry, will be a great idea because what if you're looking for a used car and you and you want to know, you know, is this a good pick? So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, even though it's the older model, it actually does have a pretty nice looking interior. If you're looking for durability, I think that you will be very happy with dur durability because the Cam Toyota is very known for being a very durable car. All right, so this one does not have remote start. I don't know if any Camry from this generation has remote start, but I'm gonna put this right here and we're going to fire up the engine. That sounds very durable. All right, so let's first go over the material quality of this vehicle so as you can see this is a very this is a, a soft touch plastic right here with some leather right here and um you got some plastic right here and plastic on the lower part of the door panel and you also got some soft touch plastic right here with some nice sporting looking stitching i like that stitching and for the steering wheel and for the steering wheel you got nice leather with a, a plastic center horn and some plastic right here, plastic buttons right here, and also plastic paddle shifters. And then we have, you know, some more uh, plastic right here. It's like soft touch right here with the same stitching. I think this might be, I'm guessing this is fake stitching, but it still looks really nice. And then we got this like silver aluminum aluminum like trim. It's plastic, but it's supposed to resemble aluminum. Same with this part. This is more chrome actually, but it's still plastic. And then we got the uh, the shifter, which is leather. It has a uh, leather right here. It's got a leather shift boot with that same stitching, although. No, it's the same stitching actually. So this actually looks actually I don't even, actually might I don't know if this might be real or not. Uh let me know in the comment section below if the stitching is real or not. And for the seats, this is a weird leather. This is what the owner told me. It's I don't know what type of leather it is, but uh it's a very, very uh weird leather that I actually do like. It's kinda cool. And you got some and yeah, there's a leather seat with that same stitching and got that leather armrest and overall this interior feels very durable but it also feels but it doesn't feel like too cheap and this is a 20 and this is a uh, less than thirty thousand dollar car and so here we got the tire pressure sensor right here and then i will tell you the the temperature that's outside and so if you press uh, this you can scroll between you know the tire pressure sensor the trip odometer and trip elapsed you know, like the trip odometer it says trip distance I'll show you the trip distance and the trip elapsed time and then yes I, I'm sorry I just accidentally hit the camera and then we got the average the average fuel economy. You can see that the owner has been driving very efficiently. And it also tells you the uh, distance driven, the, uh, the, the amount of miles that's on this car. And then here we got the speedometer and the distance to, to empty. And it'll show you uh, how many miles you can go until it's empty until the gas tank's empty. You can see this one's pretty um, filled up. And then we got the blank screen. 
and then uh, this says no messages. I'm guessing this is like supposed to be where uh, either if it's te if the car is te the text something wrong, it'll it'll uh, alert you. And then we got the settings. And I will show you. I'm not gonna configure anything on this car because it's not my car. But I will uh, show you what you can set up. You can set up the units, the language, the driver info, uh, the indicator, the pop-up display, the accent color, the maintenance reset, and the default setting settings. And if you press this button, it'll send you back where you originally were and to, and to click on settings you actually have to press the center button and just to scroll between the different icons all you gotta do is press this button right here and then to and then to get back all you gotta do is press that button right here this button. Now this, we're going to look at the infotainment system. So if you go to audio, you can, you know, select AM or FM or Bluetooth audio, which I think Bluetooth audio. All right. So if you press that, you can, you know, play whatever you want to play. You can play some Miley Cyrus and you can choose between FM or AM. This is the aux jack and then you can, uh, this is for the CD this right here and then this is for USB and here I'm going to turn the car off because for safety I'm going to turn the car off because I'm about to pitch this car in reverse to show you what the backup camera looks like so even that's a durable sounding and that's the backup camera I'm going to let you decide your opinions about the, back, about the backup camera, but just listen to those, you know, ships. You know, this is a very durable sounding shifter. And yes, this uh, has the a shift a shift pattern. I'm gonna turn the car back on here in park, and look, look at this. It'll show you what gear you're in. And it has different colors indicating which gear you're in, which is actually pretty neat. And so we're in park and we're gonna turn the car back on. And when you turn it on, it says Camry and it shows you the, the car or a car. I don't think it's gonna show you this entire car, this, this car that we're sitting in, but it'll, tell, it'll show you the a Camry. I mean, here we got the common control vents and they actually blow out a pretty good amount of air. Probably don't want to mess with those. <laughs> Still not my car. And then we got the turn signals. And then the windshield wipers. Well, that's fast. And then you can, like every car, Today you can uh, flip it up and they'll uh, it'll uh, wipe it'll wipe twice and then let's focus back on this infotainment system and so the average speed of this car it will show you the average speed the time lapse the range 300 miles which you'd actually expect that to be on the little tiny helper screen but it's on the infotainment system and so you know I'll show you the past record and then we got set up you can go to general and we got and you can choose between you can uh, choose you know you, you can press the clock you know you can uh, choose the time you want to set it to you can choose between which language you want it set to and then we got uh, units of measurement. Uh, you can choose between miles, MPG US, miles, MPG Imperial, kilometers, and kilometers, 
uh, L 100 kilometers. The top one just says kilometers slash L. So, and to uh, go back to this menu, menu, you gotta hit that button right there. And so you can configure the beep. So. That's what it sounds like. Then we got the color theme. We're not gonna miss with that. Then we got animation. Uh, I'm. I don't know what the animation does. I think what the, I'm guessing what the animation does is it. You know, like. Is it like just uh, show you that uh, camera that I showed you earlier in the in the helper screen? And delete. Oh, don't want to do that. So you can't delete personal data, but don't you? Do that in this car <laughs> and then we get the software update i don't think there is a i'm i don't know if there really is a software update for this and in software information and then we got voice control so you can uh choose you can set up your voice and then we got display and you can set up this voice control and this voice control then we got display uh general adjust contrast brightness General, you can choose between general and camera. Then we got Bluetooth, and well, it'll show you what iPhone, what uh, phones are, what phones are connected to your Bluetooth. Then we got the, then we got phone, then audio, and we got number of radio pre presets. Uh, and it'll show you the number of radio presets. And then, we, and then we got number of radio presets. We're gonna choose that, and you can configure that. Then we got display cover art, and then we got automatic sound levelizer. And you can choose between off, low, medium, and high. Then we got the vehicle information. Or vehicle customization. Let's, so we can choose between door. So you can go to door lock settings. Automatic. You can choose between automatic door lock, automatic door unlock, remote to press unlock, auto ring lock timer, and lock unlock feedback lights. Sorry about the glare. I'm gonna try to. There we go. That's better. I just realized it does cool. I think the glare just came. Then we got light settings, uh, headlamps on sensitivity, headlamps off, headlamps, headlamps, auto off, timer, daytime running lights, and then interior lights off timer. So now let's go ahead and move on to the center, to the lower part of the center sack. Where we got the climate controls so you can choose between how much airflow you want to come out of the climate controls you can choose if you want the climate con the air to uh just be flowing throughout the car or come out the uh the, uh climate control vents not out from outside and you got the front defroster and looks like it would be the mirror the defroster for the mirrors and for i'm guessing the back which this, the back of this car does have defrosters. And then we got the AC button right here. And we got the, some more climate control buttons right here. And we also got some storage right here, which does close. All right, so this button controls, you know, uh, this controls the Bluetooth audio, the radio, it, you can switch between Bluetooth audio and radio, and so in this one, it well, looks like it'll be like a previous button right there. I'm guessing that's like for pre. I don't know what that's for, but let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna leave that to you to figure that out. Um, and so now we got the uh, volume control right here. We got the.
I don't know what this is for. I'm guessing this has something to do with radio. I don't really know what it's for, but let's see. Actually, I can try to see what it's for. Oh yeah, it does have something to do with the radio. So it just changes the radio station. And so let's. See. And so I'm gonna do, move on. Move on to the to the control panel right here. So right now, right here we got auto automatic roll down windows for the driver side and for the passenger side. And the back side does not. They don't have automatic rolling down windows. And for the driver and passenger side, and for the driver and passenger side. It does uh, roll up the windows automatically up. It's probably hard to see, but all these black birds just came and just, they literally just came and flew off. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with the styling of this vehicle. So, as you can see, this front end is really, really, really big. So I'm trying to get my camera on. I'm trying to make it to where the pool doesn't actually intrude on the shot. But this front end is actually pretty big. It makes up for, you know, most of the front end of the car. And then we got this curvy Lexus. I just, if you think about it, the, the, the headlights are kind of like Lexus. Like, if you compare it to like a 2017 Lexus, you will see why. Because they have this curvy, like, uh, styling for the headlights and, so, and even the grill is almost kind of like let's say because it almost it almost resembles a spindle grill because you have this like shape that goes on right here so it's almost like Toyota is like trying to make the cars you know more Lexus like and you can see that with the newer Toyotas even the you can see that with the newer uh, Venza and so The Camry is a pretty good looking car and there is a new one out if you do want that one instead of the instead of a used instead of a used 2017 Camry. But let me show you what parts of the grill is functional and what parts of the grill are there for show. And starting off, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm like no holding the keys. And starting off with the upper part. So the upper part is actually functional. This does allow for airflow, whereas the lower, the uh, lower part is is uh, functional and not functional. I say that because you do have some airflow going on right here, but then no airflow going on right here. But I would have to say that's probably due to engineering. See? All right, so to demonstrate how practical this vehicle is, I'm going to put my suitcase in here. So. For the demonstration of how practical this vehicle is, I put my suitcase in here, and as we know, this is a pretty big suitcase. And so and you still got a lot of space right here, so you can still put, you know, your groceries. You can still put your groceries here. I'm gonna you can probably put a lot of groceries in here. And to, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate that still. So it's a pretty good amount of space. space. And you can also put some stuff under here. Um, I, I try to get that out of the way um, for the shot. But you can uh, put some stuff here. I'm actually gonna give you a little demonstration on what else you can put in here. So you can put a, two big calendars in the back of a used 2017 Camry. And also, you got better space. You got some more space right here. Um, I mean, you can't use this as a space, but um, this looks like more of a place where actually, I don't really know if the spare tire can actually fit back here, but you can't, it looks like you can't put some space, some stuff right here, and I think this holds some tools. Yeah, this does hold some tools. If safe you need it. So this looks like a uh, 
So what you would use to work on your tires, like if you wanna change the tires. And then this, I have no clue what this is. If you are a tool expert, please tell me what this is. Because I am not a tool expert. If you step in this vehicle, you'll actually see that there's a big amount of space right here. The materials are different from the front side of the vehicle, which you you can expect uh, out of a lot of cars. So right here, very hard, this is hard touch, hard touch, hard touch, um, hard touch, but it actually has a very nice feeling to it. Hard touch, actually, hard touch, hard touch. Yeah, a lot of hard touch plastic right here, but you still got these nice leather seats and you got some storage right there. And you also got a very clever material for um, for a carpet. Now, if I, I would be paying like 30 grand. Now, um, for this one, this car is less than $30,000, so I'm okay with this. And it's a very easy to use carpet. It's a very easy to clean carpet because it's rubber. So you can take it outside and you can clean it and it won't get dirty. And you can take it to a big, uh, um, big bag, a big, you can take it to a big bad band car wash and they have a machine that they use to clean, that you can use to clean these uh, carpets and they won't get dirty. Now, now uh, the big advantage of a rubber carpet or format, it's not really a carpet, it's a format, is that it's just not gonna get dirty. You can, it's like a, you can treat it as you would with a Jeep. And, and you don't have to, uh, you don't have to buy any type of weather made material for this because it's basically weather made even though it's not unless weather made supply pleated with this you never know i don't know but it, no, nevertheless it's a very good car it's a very good format and and uh, i want to talk about the back side of the seat and the good news there is it's all leather back here so uh, number one, very nice material. Number two, it's not gonna be plastic. So if you hit your knee up here, it's gonna be very cushy. It's gonna it's gonna uh, give you a lot of cushioning and support for your knee, so you don't actually hurt your knee. And so, and that's a very good idea. And you also got grab handle, a grab handle right here with a fixed in place uh, coat hanger thing uh, with a fixed with a fixed in place hook where you can hang your coat and you also got a grab handle right here and so you all we also have, have an armrest that will open up and it will reveal two cup holders there's some leather armrest and this right here is a leather back and so and these are plastic right here so it's pretty obvious it's actually worth to expect from this price point yeah and also you got that same stitching you got the same uh stitching right here i don't know if it's faux I don't know if it's fake or not, but it still looks pretty good. It looks very sporty. And yeah, it actually looks really nice. And you got it, it's also right here. You can see it right here. It goes down the it goes down the seat. And you also have that, you know, same stuff right here. And it's also carried over from the back seat. It's right here. It's, it's also carried over from the other side of the back seat. It's right here, and it's right here, and it's also on, I think I covered this part too, but it's also on this part too, on both sides, and on the uh, other, on the other headrest, which it very much makes this interior look more sporty. I'll actually show you how much knee room I actually have, and look at this. So no YouTuber that I watch actually, you know, shows the knee room from this angle, but look at this. This is actually a very good amount of knee room. So, yeah, we got we got a good amount of knee room. And this is uh, where I have the seat. We got loads, need, need to move the seat up. And so, yeah, we got a lot of room still. It's actually, I got a very, it's actually uh, a very comfortable position for me in the front. I sit in the front. But yeah, this is a very good amount of leg room. But we got a door pocket right here, just like we do up front. And yeah, you also got a nice sturdy grab handle. 
So it's a good thing that, that Toyota gives you, still gives you the option of what engine you want. So in this generation Camry, you can you can opt for a four cylinder or a V6. Um, I don't know which trim levels get which specific engine. If you can get a V6 in the, in the LE or a V6 in the base model. Um, I don't know if it's a base model. I'm guessing this is a base model. Um, but the V6 engine is, and the new ones are very, they're very powerful. They got, they're making over 300 horsepower. So best in class horsepower number. And even in this one, it has a very good horsepower number. So I would think, see, I'm pretty sure that has, the Camry has a best in class horsepower number for the top of the line engine. And it still has very good horsepower for this generation Camry. Cause if you look it up, the V6 Camry does have over more than 300 horsepower. Uh, but not that much more, but still, like, you know, it's got, like, Z amount of power. Like, Nissan Z car amount of power. So, as you can see, this car has halogen headlights, turn signals, and what appears to be halogen brights. And, well, they're so bright that I don't, <laughs> somehow I'm not, I'm really sure. But they are very bright lights. And so, let's go ahead and turn, go to the rear end of this vehicle and see what, but uh, light technology we got here. So halogen lights right here, and then halogen tail lights right here. And I look for this car in reverse, but I don't have my tripod right now. I will put this car in reverse to uh, show you what the uh, light technology right here, but I don't have my tripod right now. But I do see that the, it looks like there's a halogen uh, reverse light in there. But yeah, halogen, halogen, halogen. Alex on autos does this thing where he puts himself in the trunk and you know basically measures how comfortable he is. Comfortable he is on in the trunk. Well what I'm gonna do is this. So I don't know if any other YouTuber does this, car reviewer does this, but I am going to get myself in the back seat of this vehicle and see how comfortably I can lay down back here with the door shut. So So, all right, so if I can, I can tell right here, uh, yeah, um, my, I'm using a door, I'm using a little arm, a literal arm as for a pillow. So, yeah. And also you got, I can, I just realized that you have a uh, little extensions on the sun visor that I didn't actually point out earlier but yeah but this actually the fact that I am you know not too the fact that, that um you know it can still fit me is a good thing I haven't tested any other vehicles to do this in obvious and um yeah this is a little <laughs> I've never just I've never done this type of test before yeah, I will show you the sun visors right now. So, uh, this uh, visor extensions right now. So, oh, let's do something real quick. Oh no, they can't have a dual. Yeah, you can't do that in a 4Runner. You can't have a dual. You can, yeah, you can't have a dual in the Toyota Camry, but you can have a little dual in a 4Runner. Check out Doug, the rumors review on the TRD. Now I want to give this car a Y to buy ratings, and you might be wondering. You know, what is a Y2Buy rating? I'm gonna tell you what it is. All right, so the Y2Buy rating is a new rating that I just came up with during this film. It's a rating that, you know, I can uh, use a score of this ve the vehicles that I test in my, in my uh, reviews. So I'm going to score the Toyota Camry with the Y2Buy rating. So, uh, no, so I'm not gonna include styling in the Y2Buy rating because that is very subjective. So, um, in terms of styling, some people might hate this car. Some people might like this car. I like the like. Um, I think it's a nice car, and so that will be very subjective. So, no point of even scoring that. But there are other things that you should score with this car too, and which is the quality of this vehicle. So, the quality of this vehicle has a very durable feel to it, and that's a good sensation because. Toyota is very, very, you know, known for their reliability. And 
Sorry for the noise, the mods are coming by. And so, and Toyota is very, very known for the reliability. And so, and you can hear, you can feel, you, you can uh, see that with, you know, sense of, you know, durability that the camera gives you. And I'm gonna give that a three out of five because it is a very, and that's a good, and that is actually a really good uh, score. Uh, because it's basically a, a, it's a very good score because it actually does have a very durable uh, interior, which I would, which is actually very excellent to you know think of. It was actually very good, you know, thought to think of. You know, my Toyota Camry is a very durable feeling interior, and durability feeling, a durable feeling is a very good good sensation that your car won't last a very long time. And now I want to talk about the features. So. The rating I will give the features is a 3 out of 5. So you can get a Camry with like a ton of options. A, full, a loaded Camry. I think I chose SE. Um, I don't remember. Uh, I think I might have. I don't remember. But it doesn't matter because I looked on Kelly Blue Book and you can choose a, a high, high. You can choose a Camry with a lot of options and a lot of features for ten to $11,000 fully loaded for whatever trim it is and you know that's a great amount of you know that's a great amount of car for your money so i'm going to give this a four out of five because that is just a very good amount of money you know that's just a very small amount of money small from in terms of cars uh for you know a lot of features like a premium 19 inch wheel you can get for uh you can get for you know ten to eleven thousand dollars. Now I don't know what wheels this car has, but that's a great value. Seriously, like I would get this for my first. I would I, mean, I would consider you know getting one of these for a first car because this is a very very good car for a first car. But with all but anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And adios.